Hello guys, welcome back. Now today we're going to be talking about the Dallas Stars, their position in the draft, and if they should move up or move down in the upcoming 2018 NHL Draft. Of course, we all know now the Stars are drafting 13th overall in the upcoming NHL Draft, and that brings a lot of options, but some neglection options. So it creates some holes, but again, opens some new ones. So the main question is, how can they move up, and or should they move up? And there's a lot of options there, and there's a lot of ways that they can go about this if they do decide to go that way. But it is going to be trickier than usual. Most teams now know that it's going to be a fantastic draft. This is going to be one of the best drafts in a long, long time. So, of course, it's going to be harder for teams to give up that pick already that they have, especially teams in the top 10. It's going to be harder for the Dallas Stars to acquire good picks if they want to move up since it's one of the, going to be one of the best drafts in the NHL in a long time. So, a lot of teams know that, and it's going to be a lot harder for the Dallas Stars to do it than, let's say, a couple years ago if they are trying to move up. But I think it'll be harder for them, but I still think that it could be possible. So, of course, with that, Dallas is going to have to be really creative, a lot more creative than they've been in years past. So, I've written down a few teams that I think could possibly want to move up. Of course, it's not likely, since I said before, it is a strong draft, and a lot of teams know this. But there is a few options, because teams might want to get ready with that real tool process a little bit faster. First, at Chicago, it's not likely, since they're, of course, in the Central Division along with Dallas. But they might want to get back into the plow contention, and they might want somebody from Dallas. And that might, have, that might be the only way they get back and through it. But even if Chicago wants to do that, it is Central Division opponent, so Dallas might want to be a little bit hesitant on there. I have the New York Rangers who have that ninth pick in the draft. They might want to re have that retool a little bit faster. Uh, of course, they didn't fan had a fantastic trade deadline, and they are looking to be pretty decent, at least with this rebuild. It's looking pretty strong. I, I don't know if they'll want to give up that ninth pick. I think that is a foundational player. That can be very good for their retool process, but they might want to have it a little bit quicker. Maybe draft a little bit of a lesser player, but still get somebody decent back as well. Dallas Stars could negotiate there, especially when they're an East team, which they're not in the same conference, so it's a little bit of an advantage there. Then you have the New York Islanders who have that 11th and 12th pick. They might want to get something going. Might want to get a couple of players back, especially with Tavares. They want to have a little bit of good package and a little bit better of a team to sway Tavares to stay with them. So they might want to get something going there. Not saying it's too likely, but Dallas might go for one of those two picks. Again, I think it's a lot more likely than a team like Chicago. But I think it could work out. If, if the Islanders want to get something back, they might want to go for a different team. But Dallas could be in this way there. They could be one of the contestants. And last but not least, this is kind of like an honorable mention, I guess you could say. But I'm going to say Edmonton. I mean, Peter Shirley is vulnerable right now, so might as well. But Edmonton could be a good situation to take advantage of. You know, maybe get a play, give them a player, but kind of steal them a little bit. I mean, Edmonton has the potential to make some bad trades. Of course, they've done that in the last couple of seasons. So I think it could be a good opportunity for the Stars. Take take advantage of Peter Shirley while you can and keep going with it. Edmonton could be vulnerable right now. So I wouldn't say that they could get a good trade going. But if they get, go against Edmonton, they get something going with Edmonton. I wouldn't be exactly mad with it. All right, so what are some pieces on the Dallas Stars, you know, that have term, that are experienced, good players that, you know, still have term on them and are still pretty decent? All right, let's see. Um, a thought. That's it. All right, sounds about good. Thought for the 10th pick overall, Edmonton. Will that work? But obviously, there isn't too many pieces on this team that are both good, have term on them still, and are still worthy of playing. So I don't think the Stars could have really too much flexibility right here. I mean, Mathot is really the only guy that still has term on him, that still ha is decent enough. I just think that the Stars don't have enough pieces to really move up too far. Again, if the Islanders want to pull the trigger on uh, Mathot, go ahead which could be a decent fit there. We'll see. But I think that Mothot is really the only option there in terms of guys that can still play. Hopefully, I mean, even though Mothot played like 20 games last season and still his cap, I just think that the Stars are kind of stuck right here. They don't have really any assets to move up, let alone move down and give any assets away. I just think that the Stars are kind of stuck here and they don't really have too much assets that fill the bill when it comes to giving away players to teams that want them. Again, Mark Mothot is really the only option. Besides the rest of the team, they're either... I don't want to give them the way, or they are like one year left, so they're UFAs. It really just doesn't work out. The Stars are really in a bad situation if they want to move up, because unless they're going to give up another young, youthful player, I don't see anything really happening there. But even if they did have the assets, I don't think this is really a great season to do it. I know a lot of teams are going to ask high, highly of that, since it is looking to be great drafts, so they might have overpaid even if they had the assets for it. So it might be a good option. Just be stay cautious, maybe stay with that pick and not move up. It might be a good option for them, and of course, I don't think they're very flexible, so I don't think they have a choice either way. But wait a second, isn't there an option to move down? I think there is. Let's discuss that, shall we? But as I said before, they're not high up, so only 13th overall. Realistically, you have Florida at 14th, and of course Philadelphia at 14th. I don't think that either of those teams are really going to move up, so if that's going to happen, it would probably be a playoff team, which would be very weird to see. So 
Again, that's even less likely than the men moving up, but it could still happen. We've seen weirder stuff happen. Since they're not high enough, it basically means a playoff team is going to have to take it, so it's going to be unlikely, but the Stars could could just fill something out, but it is going to be hard for them. A playoff team going up and moving up, it would be kind of wacky to see. So again, not realistic, but it could still happen. So as I said before, the moving down option, unrealistic. So once again, the Stars find themselves stuck in that middle position where they're going to be drafting 13th. But yes, they are stuck, but it doesn't mean that they won't draft a great player at 13th. There's a lot of options there, as I said before in a different video, but I think that still, 13th overall is still a good pick, so I think they'll get a good player, but it just means that they aren't flexible right now with the players that they can give away. They, there really isn't many, and there isn't a great position to move down the draft. So really, even though they're stuck, still 13th overall is going to be a great player, hopefully. But even if they did have assets, they aren't the type of team to trade up in the draft. Even if it is a good draft, it's they still aren't that team. So moving up in the draft, unrealistic. Moving out in the draft, unrealistic. So again, final time I'll say it. Expect them to draft their team overall. Don't see too many surprises happening unless they decide to be doing stupid stuff. But I feel like third team overall is exactly where they're going to draft. I don't see any surprises happening, at least moving up or moving down. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Like and subscribe to not ring that bell if you haven't. Share with your friends if you haven't. What did you guys think about this video? If you guys think the Stars will draft up or down in the draft or keep 13th overall. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.